I'm uh, Greg Peltzer, and I'm an Associate Professor of Political Studies at the University of Saskatchewan in Saskatoon, Canada. And I'm also the Executive Chair of the International Centre for Northern Governance and Development at the University of Saskatchewan. And uh, so I got into, I guess, uh, Northern Research, so it's about 25 years ago. I think uh, where I can, I hope to make a, a contribution as, as part of the team is bringing in the, the experiences from Canada. So bringing in a Canadian uh, perspective on the issues, uh, I think is uh, probably my primary uh, contribution. And the other thing is a political scientist. So you, we all, you know, whether you're a carpenter, welder, or whatever, you have different tools in your tool bag, right? And so I'm bringing a toolkit of uh, political science uh, and looking through that lens with colleagues like Patrick Galanto, who's an historian, and he's going to bring that toolkit. And uh, yeah, so those are, I would say, those are the where I see myself uh, contributing to the program, bringing those skill sets. Okay. First and foremost is, is the colleagues. It's, uh, uh, the, the exciting thing is, is you each come from different maybe uh, interdisciplinary backgrounds, whether it's history, political science, uh, and so on. And, and then how you're looking again at these similarities and differences. And those differences uh, that a project like Focal Point North brings together that wouldn't happen otherwise is looking at those differences. So you're understanding policy today. You know, what is the historical uh, context for the institutions that have emerged? What are the frameworks? Uh, and issues economically in the uh, across countries that are are, are driving uh, both the challenges and the opportunities uh, mm -hmm. today for for northern areas. Um, so uh, for me, already at the beginning, you can already see that, and it's just we're generating so much discussion about how we can look at different research projects, but also how we can bring into the classroom these comparative dimensions. So uh, to be brutally honest, is uh, I, we, through teaching, you think you're contributing to teaching, but we're learning just as much mm -hmm. through the teaching as we're teaching. So it's, it, what, I can't tell you when I start teaching and stop teaching from learning and, and so on. Mm -hmm. So it's been terribly exciting that way. And you can see that already at the beginning. And uh, the questions we had from the, the students, uh, uh, very impressive yesterday because they're so engaged and so uh, cutting right to the core issues. And that... Uh, uh, from a professor's perspective, is hugely exciting. Mm -hmm. One is actually developing um, some concrete uh, research projects that will mm -hmm. come out of this. Mm -hmm. And concrete research projects that are, are tied up with a broader um, notion of capacity building and linking it to the master's program, like the Master's in Indigenous Studies, uh, the, the program that we're going to join. Uh, uh, Jointly, uh, jointly launch on uh, governance and entrepreneurship in northern indigenous areas, the Gini program. Uh, so those are the, this gives a real opportunity to do that. And then to build with our center, with the uh, Sami Center here and the Sami Center in Umeo, to actually forge those relationships. Because people talk about how you can, oh yes, you're in the internet era and so on. And you can do so much work, of course, over the internet and Facebook and everything. But nothing substitutes people-to-people -people contact. Mm -hmm. uh, two things. One, of course, there's the research collaboration, which has been going on for a number of years. But I think just as important, maybe even more important, uh, than the research collaborations where countries can learn from one another is actually building the real networks. You cannot underestimate the power of networks. And building those collaborative educational opportunities is so critical. And uh, so I think those, those are really foundational.